Good morning. It's Sunday, November 3rd. And yesterday, while I was looking for something to talk about, I came across a short film script that was very, very disturbing. It showed a black man who was harassing Jews inside of a kosher shop. And he ended up by saying that Hitler was on to something. And he carried on like this in front of a group of people who were clearly orthodox. We were wearing yarmulkes and they were bearded. They looked like the Jews that they were. And this particular area of the city is is one of the most Jewish areas outside of Israel. And this story is not about Zionism. It's about eradicating us wherever we live. Because the man, who was a black man, obviously hated Jews. In his tirade against the Jews, he brought up October 7th. And he said October 7th was but one day where the Jews were confronted for the evil beings that they are. The other 364 days of the year, he claimed that the Jews were killing innocent people, innocent others, who had nothing to do with the fight that was going on. He was clearly so anti-Semitic that it was a disgrace that a person like this was allowed to walk the streets in the United States. Walk the streets and walks into a kosher deli and carries on. Why? Why did he do that? He was not provoked while he was in the deli. He just walked in, looked around, made some nasty comments to a young man who was sitting there with his infant child. And this guy was looking in his face, accusing him of being a mass murderer. Is that what we have in this country? Pure hatred? And it was disturbing because this black man was issuing these statements. And if any other people were watching this, they would get the impression that many blacks feel that way. And I don't think that that's the truth. And so we have people in this country who behave horribly and bring down the discrimination against them that they say is not true. But in the case of this black man, he was obviously an inverted racist because it was clear from the statements that he made that he hated Jews for some reason or other. So why? Why does these situations exist in our great country? When a man can walk into a Jewish belly, start a tirade with a young man who has a baby with him and is accusing the Jews of being murderers of innocent people. And he says the one day that the Jews were attacked on October 7th counts for nothing considering the other 364 days that the Jews are killing the Arabs. Such a distorted view of the situation that existed in the mind of this guy. And what disturbs me is that there are probably many, many people in this country who would agree with him, even though when you looked at the comments that are associated with this particular video, 
You can see that there are many out there who are defending the Jewish position. And maybe that's what disturbs this black man. And I don't know why any black person would feel the way this guy feels toward the Jew. Truly, the blacks have been persecuted in this country for many, many years. The Jews have been persecuted for centuries. This man who was attacking this Jewish man with his baby was a disgrace, an absolute disgrace for anybody in the United States, the so-called United States of America, for anybody to behave the way this guy was behaving in his belly. So I ask you, what was he doing in the belly in the first place? it was kosher, if he hated the Jew, if he's worried about what the Jews are doing. I don't understand why this guy ended up in the delicatessen. He just walked in and looked around and then started carrying on, carrying on a vicious form of hatred. Has he been persecuted by Jews in his life? Has he not recognized the fact that he was discriminated by all Americans in their, in his life? If he was discriminated at all? I do not understand how people can walk the earth like that, carrying hatred in their system. Because there was no reason, there was nothing that happened in that store that should have set this guy off, except for the fact that it was a Jewish store. And the people in there looked Jewish. There was no question about it that they were Jews. They had beards, they were all wearing yarmulkes or hats. This man was an anti-Semite from the minute he walked into the store to the minute he left the store in a tirade. An uncalled for tirade against the Jew. So I leave you with that. Have a great day. Although it wasn't a great day from what I saw in this video. Take care. Bye.